Well, I had met a lot of people and had a lot of adventures and uh, had a lot of ups and downs and um, I thought it would be worth, you know, sort of chronicling. I, I didn't necessarily want to do it like I did this and I did that. I wanted to set it up in context with the times and uh, also uh, to also portray some of the artists that struck me as uh, as really interesting people, uh, you know, pro and con, and uh, also to get as much a variety. Because when I started, uh, there were, there were really no rock critics. Uh, there was only one uh, before me in Canada. And that was Richie York in, uh, in Toronto, an Australian guy who was a very funny guy. I was kind of the first one here in Montreal, and at that time rock criticism was a very, very uh, young form. Uh, whenever um, uh, newspapers wanted to send uh, you know, somebody out to cover a Beatles concert or a concert by one of the big stars, uh, they would send somebody like the theater critic or the movie critic, uh, anyone who had a spare night. You didn't get the sense of uh, people really enjoying this music or hating it with a passion that can only happen from uh, somebody who's, uh, you know, was sort of grew up on rock. And also, at that time, uh, now you, uh, we have sort of specialists in like the pop field. But in, in those days, uh, I did basically everything that came into town. So one night it was Engelbert Humperdinck, and the next night it was Led Zeppelin. Uh, so it was, uh, I thought this variety was uh, the thing that kind of struck me. And um, I've been keeping, uh, uh, keeping notes for sort of like a larger book, uh, project for quite a while and uh, had a lot of material and I thought that uh, it would be fun to um, show what the inside uh, of doing this job was actually like.